Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm for episode 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 9.40 in the morning and field 52 is done and cleared. 51 is ready to start the barley harvest. I didn't bale any of this. All the loose straw swaths went into the bunker. I've also brought over the fertiliser spreader from field 2 and field 52 has been fertilized its first fertilizing i need to take where did it go hmm. i need to take the um challenger with the cultivator over field two to start cultivating there but something i forgot actually and i meant to show on this i completely forgot if i press x i l1 and x i can increase and decrease the track i did do it when i did the horse aggravation uh, vehicles video but um, completely forgot to use it so yeah that's so I suppose on steep flip it, uh, builds hills that kind of stuff the whole thing doesn't tip over because it's got a quite a high center of gravity so uh, I forgot sorry about that I'm gonna pull this to one side because that is going to be needed down on field 51 in a little while field 51 is going to be bailed and I'm going to stack them and that kind of thing so that may well be in this episode I need to get that cleared 57 over there needs to be done um, but then that will be my fields that are ready today on day one early autumn because field two's done 52, 51 needs doing 57 if we look in, this, in the menu at the map where are we? growth let me zoom in a bit. Um, so we've just done 52. 51 is ready. If I come across to field 57, that is ready. But if I go up to all my fields I've done myself, I said this in the end of yesterday's episode, I know that, but I'm just 56A is not ready. And 55A, my uh, sugar beet field, is also not ready. And if I go up here, oh, actually, no, I've got one up here, it's having nice well. Uh, 36 is ready but 37 isn't so I've got a couple more I can do today but then there'll be all the cultivating fertilizing all the prep work plus it gives me a bit of time I'm just thinking in my head gives me a bit of time to bale 51 and get the bales put away bear in mind I'm only on day one of har of harvest season so realistically I should be okay um, I did wonder I did start to think can I fit it all in but I think because I play on real time and again I'll say this again if you haven't watched my any of my let's plays if this is the first one or you're watching this because it's running seasons or, or whatever I have been told by a few people now that seasons is designed to run on a nine day cycle but also turned up to times five um, which okay if that's what it's designed to run on then great I'm I'm not running it like that so I suppose technically because I've got it on times one I've got a lot more time in the day to get these jobs done and realistically I could probably harvest all the fields I've got in one day I'm not going to because obviously some of them aren't ready and won't be ready until tomorrow but that's just the way it is oh yeah that was the other thing before I forget uh, if we scroll across to here we've got, I managed to get off that field, 279,857 litres of straw. So, plenty of straw. But if you can also notice, just to the right of that, where it says grass, under grass, under uh, Ray Fison straw, it says great demand, but it says blue, which is weird. I don't understand that. It came up great demand for straw at Ray Fison, uh not for straw, for grass, and I thought, oh, maybe I could just cut some grass and sell some, and it's saying zero, so I'm slightly puzzled by that, but anyway, never mind, it is what it is, let's, I've just realised as well, I've just walked away from the farm, and I've got the last bit of the wheat off of here, needs to be put into the silo, I had one full load of 40,000, no, 40,000, 42, whatever that trailer held I can't remember now 
Um, and I think that I've got about 18,000 more to go in there. I'll set this off. Let's get this going. And then I can worry about selling that. That's probably the, probably the best bet. Let's turn this on. Start up. Cruise control. Straw swath should still be on. It is. Should get a few barrels of this. It's a slight slope on this as well, so it's going to be interesting when stacking bales. Only a slight one, but it has got one. Right, so I've set a worker. Let's go and get that stuff sold and get the cultivator on the go. I think it's probably the best bet. Turns out I was wrong. I've got 26,000 litres in here, not 18,000. I don't know why I thought I had 18,000, but anyway, it's all good. So that puts me at about 60 something thousand litres, plus whatever was in the farm silo before, which was probably about five or 6,000. So let's have a look. Where's our yeah wheat left hand side? 74,033 litres. That should keep the farm going for a while. LPG has a nearly full grain tank. Whoa, okay. I'll get down there. I will get some cultivating done at some point. Who knows? LPG has a full grain tank. That was a quick jump between nearly full to full. Right, and for once it's actually stopped the right way round. It's like a harvest miracle. Fantastic, right. Leave that there. That's unloading. Okay. Awesome. Right, next thing. What do I want to do now? Oh yeah, cultivating. Now, I decided as I was part way down the, uh, my little man-made road, 
um, out towards field 2. Why don't I just start here on field 52? Seeing as all the equipment I'm working with at the moment is over here. That way I can jump backwards and forwards between the harvester and unloading and that kind of thing first. Um, and then I can worry about um, moving over to field 2 later. So let's open up the horse. This was the Joker 12, wasn't it? I think. Nice. Is it written on there somewhere? <laughs> it is under that mud somewhere. I'm sure it's the Joker 12. The Joker 12 RT. Right, so let's drop that down. Make sure I get right to the edge and don't miss anything. Preparing the seed bed. Very important. This one doesn't need ploughing because I did this originally. That one over there though, field 51, does. So, um, yeah, I have to get the plow on that, bring a jimper over. Once I've bailed it and cleared it, that will need to be... I might spread it, fertiliser spread it, and then plow it, I think. Might be the way to go. Right, get myself a nice straight edge here. And like I did when I did the harvesting, probably do the field in two sections. Because it's kind of like a dog leg in it, it goes around that way and that way. Um, it's working out the best way, really, to get it done. But, so, is set working? I'm not going to set work, actually. Cruise control on. Do a little bit myself. Trouble isn't it? It's far too easy to set a worker. I mean, using workers is fine when you've got loads of other jobs to do. And I suppose technically I have got quite a few other jobs to do. I do need to bring the baler down, and I could start baling actually. Oh, all these decisions to make. I'll stick with one job for a little while because I don't want to be bouncing around and not doing what I should be doing. This challenger pulls this no problem at all. I may well upgrade at some point to a larger plough, a, a larger cultivator, because there are some very good ones about, and these fields are going to start getting bigger, obviously not on their own, they're not going to just suddenly grow, um, but if I am thinking about um, ploughing these two together, then it will, it will start to grow. So let me get a straighter edge, if I get a straighter edge on this, ah, that's good. then the worker might be a bit more inclined drop that down, to turn around easier. Again, you never know.
while everything is going on, just backed up the uh, chrome big M, detached the baler. Now, because I bought this baler, I can't attach the um, the Quadro Pack V um, stacker. Um, but I am going to use that, so I will lease that, and I'll come back and I'll stack all the bales afterwards. Um, which realistically, once I get past winter and I've got a lot more money in the bank, I might upgrade this baler or change the baler. I only got I got it because it was twelve thousand. It was cheap and it's easy to use and it's like that. Plus, I like it and it goes in the back of the chrome really well. So I might keep it anyway for doing baling off the back of the chrome. I want to do silage bales and things like that um, but what I might do is get another one that I can attach the um, Quadro Pack V the uh, bale stacker behind and then that way I don't have a problem when it comes to doing this I can do it all in one hit rather than a couple of passes but that's not a problem either let's get that on that down so I've got a harvester going I've got the T8 there just in a second unload so the, the yield is pretty good, I have to say. And the challenge is merrily getting on there with the cultivating. So let's see how many bales I can get of this. I can't remember what the horsepower requirement is for this. I thought it was quite low. This is struggling up here. The other reason I do like this one is the pickup is very wide. It's got a much wider pickup. So generally speaking, when you're going over straw swaths and stuff, you don't miss anything. Oh, it's got another full grain tank. Oh, this barley harvest is going like a rocket. I suppose the horsepower requirement for the tractor and then the baler running as well it's always going to be quite high Now, I'm not going to go right the way across there because I don't want to drop a bale in the path of the harvester, otherwise, it'll get caught up on it. So, I'm hoping if I get enough off here. 24 bales say for example um, that means well I can sell 24 of the size bales so one of those entire blocks and still have enough bales left for the harvest festival kiddies maze for Alex at the council again that's just the plan we'll see how that all works out so now I'm here let's just turn that off lift that Second, I have been incredibly lucky so far that the harvester has stopped every single time with the pipe on the what, the right side, whichever it's actually the left side, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's right for me, like so. Perfect.
I'm really enjoying this. Oh, it's good fun. It is good fun. Okay, right. That's done that bit and stopped. So, let's get that going on the next bit. I think there's a bit because it went the wrong way. It went the wrong way to start off with. Of course it would. When you've got two-thirds of a field this side and a tiny patch this side, of course you're going to turn into the tiny patch first. Ahem. Wah! Oh, I suppose I shouldn't really be driving that fast without it folded, should I? Up in a little bit. Haywire. see what I mean now about time that I've harvested two fields harvesting a third at the moment one of the fields is fertilized one of the fields is fertilized and now being cultivated that one's going to be baled I've got all the straw off here and it's only five past ten then but to be fair I did start about six o'clock in the mornings <laughs> so um yeah I suppose I've been going four hours already let's lift that up what I'm going to do is probably stick a line in across here just to give me a straight edge to work from because it, otherwise it might get caught up in the trees. Actually, I'll set a work on that and see where it ends up and then I can set it up and down that way <coughs> until it gets to a point where it kind of gets stuck and then I can tidy up around the edges and that kind of thing. That probably makes more sense because this is technically this is all the bit I added where I kind of went into the woodland a little bit this was never here in the first place so I do that and then turn it that way and set the worker again see what we end up with I was worried about this being when I did first cut it and take the trees back and then plough it out that it would be kind of too undulating that it wouldn't work but it's actually worked perfectly. Please turn the right way. Perfect, right, let him carry on. And I'll get back to bailing. So much for getting on with bailing. Blimey. As I was heading over, it came up that it has nearly a full grain tank again but I stopped it just before it got to the end because it's not quite full and it would have turned, mind you if it had turned around it would have, oh mind you I would have gone over someone else's field yep no this is the right call, do it this side so I thought this was a 45,000 litre one I don't know. I can't remember.
not a bad yield even if I do say so myself 44,665 litres of barley that is good now I have taken the Russell Mash 161 over towards field 57 but I haven't started that harvest yet I'm going to stick to try and get one done I think not one per episode because 57 is quite small so it won't take long I might do 57 off screen but what I am going to do is just pop this to one side here I'm going to grab the telehandler in a bit with the Kotec bail forks done um, and that will be used to load up the straw bales onto the trailer. I did say I wasn't going to use the auto load every time I wanted to have a go at doing manually. So I've leased and had delivered the Quadro Pack V, Pack 5, whatever you want to call it, bale stacker, which can be hooked onto the back of a baler, depending on the type of baler. If not, it can just be used on its own. I will open it up. I think it needs to be opened up. For it to work properly I think. Now this is designed to be used on the back of a baler. Um, the baler offload chute comes down and joins onto this one. You've probably seen this before if you haven't this is just you know if you've seen it close your eyes or whatever. Um, so the baler would be here and the offload chute for the baler would be there which drops the bale off the back onto here which goes into here and stacks four up that way and when you've got four that little back door opens and you drop the four off and you move on and do the next ones but you can actually use this as a bale stacker on its own I think if you get close enough to the bales <laughs> if you get close enough to the bales I haven't quite finished baling yet I've got a tiny little bit to do where the uh, harvester was the challenger has finished the bulk of this field I've just got to do a couple of bits there down to the left hand side and the bit along the bottom that I didn't do but that's it cultivated so that can have either a fertiliser spray or something done on it or I can just seed it and fertilise when I seed. <clears throat> as far as bales go I don't know yet because I haven't quite finished but the bale count is going to be quite high looking at this actually. So what I will do, now it's open, hopefully this is going to work if I get up close enough next to it. There you go, pick up the first one. This is going to make it much easier when you use the Kotec bale forks because you can get four bales on that, no problem at all. The combination of a stack of four and the Kotec bale forks picking up four, you can load up a bale trailer very, very quickly. That's the third one, and up it goes again. And there's the fourth one. Now this is where I've got the problem because to pick them up with the Kotec bale forks you really need somewhere flat-ish. So what I might do is actually take some of these, still not particularly flat, but anyway. Right, so if I press L1 and triangle, it'll push them out the back off the gate. And if I L1 and triangle again, it unloads them. L1 and triangle again. If you notice at the back, this little ramp bit is down, so it allows them to be kind of pushed off the back and the gate opens. When I do L1 and triangle again, that lifts back up and the gate closes. That's kind of how it should work. There you go, like so. And then you carry on. So I may end up with all the bales in one place in the middle kind of thing. Like that, can I get close enough to that one? There we go. Right, so what I am going to do is I'm going to continue doing this. I'm also going to just finish off the baling so I know exactly how many bales I've got on my bale counter because I think loading these onto a trailer may come in the next episode so I'm not too sure how far through I am actually I've done a fair bit already number four fairly flat fairly flat okay
Well, that's all the baling done on this field, and I've, I'm about 500 litres short of another bale. That said, I do need to do f field 57. I'm not going to bale that one, but I will pick up a little bit just to make up the extra bale. Otherwise, the straw in here will rot, which is no good to anybody. So that, technically, that's the last bale off of field 51. Let's see how many we did. Crated bales, 42. That's not bad. <laughs> and that puts our bale total at 196. So we are just under that 200 bale limit, which means I can keep all the ones I've got if I want to. Now, what I am going to do, though, because I leased the Quadro Pack V, now bottom line is I'll have this field done within an hour, so I'm not going to get clobbered again for lease fees. I think it's only another thousand per hour, but I am going to sell some of those silage bales to recoup some of the money because I'm going to have to keep the harvester overnight so I can do the next fields when they're ready. So I'm going to get hit again for another 24 hour fee and etc etc. So I'm going to sell some of those silage bales but that is going to be in probably the next episode. The next episode will be either me finishing these off and loading them or me loading them because I think I might finish these off off screen or at least when I want to say finish them off, stacking them. Um, I will sell some silage bales, I'll stack these um, and we'll see how we're going with the harvest. Field 57 I'll probably do off screen. But I will keep you updated as to where I am, where we've got to, how much we've got in storage, etc, etc. But, another busy one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please, be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.